uh, when you step into the teleporter, you have now, and you're you're kind of aware of this in some degree, you have all entered a hive mind. Oh. You are yeah. now you are now mentally linked to a bunch of creatures. You know this, and you know they tried to charm you. This is not outright domination, because I don't like this is my DM philosophy. I don't like dominating characters like that all the time. Well, what does that mean? Like, well, does that mean you... I, I'm about to explain? Hey. About to explain. Okay. Uh, so what this means is some of you, meaning one to three of you, are charmed, and you when commanded will absolutely do something oh, but no. for the most part for the most part you have free will you can move about the the you can move about wherever you're going and uh you can do your own things so long as it does not harm the mission of the people you just entered okay so wait we're like bees in a hive yeah, so like yeah okay um however if you try to tell your party this, everyone will immediately know and attack you. Right. Why so, are we going here again? <laughs> so like I said, some of you have been charmed and you're not quite sure. So this well, is actually this is a fun actually little experiment in psychological game theory. So you don't oh boy. know. Or it could go terribly terribly wrong. Yeah. <laughs> This is bad when I'm I, not feeling well. I will let you know, um, it was not a tough roll to beat. However, like I said, some of you rolled really well and some of you rolled really poorly. So I'm not giving you any of the numbers other than that. You know what's really interesting is I know Tracy's number. Yeah, that, that, is a, that is Let's an unfortunate go. thing. So, like I said, you guys stepped on this teleporter and you are greeted by a bright flash of light and... In front of you, you see a bunch of equipment. You are now standing on a teleporter pad, and you can see three Pokemon in front of you. One standing with its hand Thank outstretched, you. and its mind reaches out to you. And in a fr friendly greeting, it goes, Guten Tag. Ah. Oh, that's... <laughs> nice. Are... Oh, boy. L LGM. LGM, and that thing's a Uh, Guten Tag. <laughs> It floats up to you, and it says, Please, come on. Uh, uh, I've, I've lost my German. Doctor, my name is Dr. Atia. It's a pleasure to meet you. And he stretches out a hand, and three uh, beats, uh, three colored beeps uh, greet you. Uh, I don't know if you know what these things look like, but they're essentially tall Yeah, aliens. they've got like little lights on their hands. That's how they communicate. Yes. Oh. This one is communicating, uh, communicating tele uh, telepathically to you. And this one's name is Dr. Atier. Hello, Dr. Atier. Let's yeah. get out of here. Uh... It's the first game in a long time where I can actually play on this freaking thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Dr. Atier greets you and says, Welcome to the sh welcome to the ship. I'd be happy to show you around. And hey, you're not German <laughs> anymore. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> no, you're at <laughs> your voice changed a little bit. <laughs> See, this is why I'm self-conscious to make colorful no, characters around No, just do it. It's fine. It's fine. I can't do, I can't do a German accent. Are you kidding me? Okay. Hmm. Dr. Atier greets you. He says, if you would come with me, I will show you about the ship and show you to our laboratory. And he starts floating in this direction. And the rest of the Elgium uh, down there just kind of wave happily at you. Uh, give, uh, me okay. give me perception checks. <laughs> this is Scarlet. All right. You notice immediately that this is a very sci-fi looking area, and in fact, to your right are windows looking out into space. <gasps> Jade runs over! Alright, uh... So wait, we can act normally, right? As long as it's nothing that's not, threatening? As long as it doesn't go against the plans. If they threaten you, they just kind of go into, like I said... No, but like, Jade, Jade just like rushing over to the window, that doesn't, like... That doesn't trigger anything, nope. Okay. Uh, because you're just acting like you normally would. Right, okay. Yeah, she's probably very fascinated and curious about all this. This is oh no, I'm just I'm just I'm just wondering what the rules are. That's all. Well, that, that's why I'm introducing you to the most easygoing character on the ship. And yes, like, um, you should be crossing over. Right now. Uh, it's a <laughs> Huzzah! So yes, Doctor Atia is one of them, and he is the scientist on board the ship, and he is excited that you're excited. He goes, "Oh yes, uh, you can see 
out here, we can see the entire planet. And you look down, and you indeed see the entire... I'm, I'm guessing Earth. I'm, <laughs> holy crap. I'm honestly not sure where the Pokemon world is located. I'm just going to say Earth. I mean, it, it's technically Earth. It's just like Dragon Ball Z says it's Earth, even though there's dinosaurs and shit. Mm-hmm. But right. they say they say Earth, so it's the same thing with Pokemon. Yeah, but it's their own sort of planet kind of thing, isn't it? You can see Earth, and Jade, you rolled high enough to see that they are actually right above Utopus, and they can have a very clear view of everything. In fact, I, no, I, I, I like to think it looks exactly like your map. Like that's how it looks. <laughs> just, just the colors. They even like oh, like the sci-fi like windows even map out the different towns. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that is so cool. Jade would have so much fun just ex like looking at it and just basically being enthralled like a kid at Christmas. Uh, he appro he he's excited to yeah. see you guys so excited, and he puts his little Scarlet is apparently scared. Yeah. He puts what? Scarlet's scared because she's in space. Yes, very good. Very <laughs> Scarlet <scared>. throws up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, she doesn't. She's in space. He puts his little nibbits together and his thoughts reach you. He says, I understand you might have some questions for me, but please save them for when we get to the laboratory. Is it lab? <laughs> he says, come with me and I will show you. Yes, yeah. show me. <laughs> They're not going to well, dissect was... us, are they? <laughs> Lavi kind of rolls his eyes and he's kind of like, oh great, science stuff. Yay, science stuff! <laughs> <laughs> he, he's well, it's kind of just ha holding on to the, the bar right next to the window, kind of like deep breathing, like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like proper freaking out. Like hyperventilating. And just like... <sighs> yeah, I, just I'm, I'm baffled, going. but I, I kind of know enough about these Pokemon that they're usually not very dangerous. <laughs> They're just very uh, curious creatures. He goes on, on, on. We we won't hurt you. Uh, we have no we have no desire to harm any humans. This is actually a, well, a, a, with the exception of a few, but there's not a hero here. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, I, "I'd be happy to show you everything that we're doing. Come this way, please, please." Again, Can curious Scarlet creatures. Like get out the <laughs> Arcanine or something for comfort. <laughs> Can you get out what? Her Arcanine for comfort. Uh, are, are we allowed to take a Pokemon? Might be a threatening thing. He uh, he he senses that you kind of want to do that, um, and he's like, on um on the ship, uh, only us officers can have out our Pokemon at the moment. And he Aww. actually he actually um, you just now really noticed this, but he is actually wearing a sort of uniform, and he actually oh. lifts up part of it and reveals three Pokeballs. Oh. Wait, see, so you're... A Pokemon can't be a Pokemon trainer! No way! <laughs> no way! I, I was just gonna say that, but he took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> he, uh, he comes up to you and says, Well, normally we, we do not like doing it. However, your technology as, you know, your species has been proven very handy. And, you know, normally under the best of circumstances... It's a, it's a, service, it's a service Pokemon. She needs it. <laughs> He goes, no, no, no. We, we plan to release them shortly after, well, after we fulfill our mission. Oh, okay. okay. Sure. And Scarlet kind of just, like, walk up and, and, like, hold Luna's hand and just be like, eh. <laughs> Scarlet's clearly having a panic, panic attack here. <laughs> I'm like, everything's fine. They're, they're just curious creatures, like I keep saying. At least, at least that's what my sister has told me. He gives a wave and says, come, come. And he, uh, you can choose, like I said, you can choose to leave the area. He's kind of insisting, so it's up to you. Yeah, let's follow him. I'm going to follow him. All right. Neutral. Me you guys, as well. We we're already eagerly following. You guys yeah, head Jade, out into the Jade's hallway. like in the front. <laughs> <laughs> you guys head out into the hallway and you appear right over here. He says, Val, as you can see, uh, it is a small ship. We are simply a scientific vessel. We are here to uh, gather certain materials. You call them moonstones. Oh, oh yes. Okay, yeah. yeah. However, um, oh, I'll explain more as we get to the lab. He points to the left and says, to the left is our laboratory. And in the laboratory, uh, we perform many uh, different experiments. Uh, and he shows you four little containers down there. Th those are recently built. We will. I can discuss more about them later. Uh... I love those. I'm not going in one of those. <laughs> quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was fine. thinking that too, but like, don't. 
<laughs> Sorry, you you can make comments. I don't want to. I don't want to just completely like stifle you guys. <laughs> You'll never take us alive. <laughs> <laughs> down to is it down to the south uh, southwest down here? If you can see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says it's the leisure room. And inside the leisure room, <laughs> you could see that uh, a bunch of a Meljum and one, uh, you could see oh. another Behemon, and his name is Officer Traction. Also a patron. Thank you, Traction. Hello, Traction. And uh, that should be this... the name of the ship. Like, the ship should be called the Patreon. The Patreon? Patreon. Ooh, actually, it totally should. <laughs> this is the leisure room where we connect it to your Earth's YouTube, and we love the videos there. <laughs> Actually, I was about to say that. Yeah, <coughs> we, we always subscribe to the loading crew. Yeah, <laughs> and to well, other funny. to oh, other like, fine What do they do for leisure? <laughs> oh, uh, he actually pointed out we have a uh, they have a simulation chamber. So inside okay. the simulation chamber, you can do whatever you want, and you are effectively immortal while in there. That's Whoa. like my that's that's my science knowledge, like Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> My character is not very bright. <laughs> Star Trek exists in the Pokemon world. He then takes you out, and in the bottom right-hand corner, he says, "This is our armory." So this is this is the armory, and he introduces you to the behemoth in here named uh, Zero Saber, also a patron. Um, Zero Saber is a very excitable Amelgem. When he sees you, he uh, runs up to uh, to Lavi and says, "Oh, you look like a fighter," and. He looks, and as you look him over up and down, uh, Zero Saber uh, runs up to Lavi, and you can see actually that Zero Saber uh, is surprisingly buff for these frail looking alien things. He wants to greet you, and he's, he says, Oh, can we spar later? Hell yeah! Finally, some guy knows about fun. I'm just he, science stuff. He flexes at you, and uh, as he is about, to, uh, as he is doing that, Dr. Atir uh, looks at him and says, Zero? Where did you get that? And he puts his arms behind her back and he says, Nothing? No, no, no. Where is that? Uh, he whips Zero Saber around and pulls out the handle to a weird looking contraption. And Zero looks at him and says, No, I just found it. And he flicks a switch and essentially an energy like blade comes out. Wow. And. Uh, Dr. Atir just freaks out at him, says, You are banned from these equipment! You get out of the Amity right now! And then just starts shouting in like, oh, Holy Pikachu! <laughs> and oh. Zero Saber just kind of ducks his head and walks out of the armory. Apparently, this is a very common thing on the ship. <laughs> then... Lavi just has like, Lavi's just eyes have just got like twice the size and are just like sort of glimmering, just like, Oh. <laughs>